in this tutorial i'll show you how you can create this 3d corner text effect on your website by using elementor and here when you move your mouse cursor around that text you can also see this cool amazing scrolling effect cool so without further ado let's see how can we create this amazing effect so first of all in this blank page to create a new section let's click on this plus icon and click on here and inside this we need to take an heading widget so from here let's drag this widget to here and change its text here for this text i want to make it in two lines so after this space i want to click on here and press enter and let's also align this on the center of this page after that from this style i want to give it a color from the typography i also want to change its font and also increase its font size then i want to go to our this parent section and from here first of all i want to make its width to the full width and also make its height to full height so from here let's make it to minimum height and make it 100 percent of our viewport height so click on here and make it 100 vh Okay, then let's again go back to our deciding widget and here I want to make our this portion of this text to an another color. So for this here if we go to our content tab and first of all I want to wrap our this text into an span HTML tag. And at this opening span tag we need to add a color. So for this let's write down style and inside this double quotation we need to specify that color to pick a color we need to go to any of our color picker option so here from this style here from this color picker i want to choose a red color and from here i just want to copy this color code and here don't also forget to redo this color so press ctrl and z and go to this content and after this colon we need to paste our this color code okay now after giving this color i want to also set a background color for this section so if you look at our final result here we can see we have two different background color and on the right side this background color is slightly darker from our this left color now to make this let's go to again here and for this section first of all we need to set a background color let's choose a dark color and then from this background overlay we also need to set a gradient background color so first make this location to 50 and also this one to 50 and i want to make our this first color to fully a transparent color so when we make a gradient background overlay normally it comes from top to bottom with a smooth transition but here as we make both of our location to 50 so that's how we can see a sharp difference between these two colors okay so from here let's make its opacity to 100 percent and also change this color so from here i just want to copy our this background color code and here just paste this and from this color picker i want to make a darker version of that color and lastly also change this angle to 90 degree now let's also again go back to this heading widget and here now i also want to make a copy of this text right click on here and click on duplicate and i want to make these two heading at the same position so for this second heading i want to make its position to the absolute and let's remove this vertical offset then let's also go to this transform option and i also want to make some skew with this text make it to 20 and for our first heading i want to make the same amount of skew but on the opposite direction of that so let's go to our this first heading okay let's open our navigator go to this one and from this advanced tab i want to make its skew to 20 but not 20 let's make it to minus 20 
okay we have set our sql value but it looks really messy so to fix this first of all i want to go to our this section settings and go to this advanced tab and here we need to write some custom css and by the way to use this custom css option you have to have the elementor pro so if you didn't have elementor pro you can quickly get this from my link on the description let's paste our code to here and you can see this right portion of our this text has been fixed so here basically we have increased the z index of our this right background overlay so that's how our this first heading goes behind this background overlay and after that to fix this remaining text we also need to crop our this second heading so let's go to the second heading settings and from this custom css we also need to paste some more code to here and now this looks okay so here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet i will give all of this code snippet to my website from here you just need to copy and paste that code on the right place so now here after screwing this text you can see it not looking perfectly vertically aligned so i want to use some top negative margin for our this column minus 50 okay after that here i also want to change the text color for our right side text so here with our this dark background color i also want to make this color a little bit dimmer so for this go to our this second heading settings and i want to make this color a little bit transparent so we have used this same color but we only reduced its opacity and here if we move this opacity cursor here you can see only our this last two digit has been changed and for our this first six digit it's remaining the same so here basically our this six digit value represent our color and this last two digit represent the opacity of this color so let's make the amount of the opacity to a3 and by following this rule i want to give the same amount of opacity for our this red color so from here let's just copy this opacity portion and go to this content tab and here after this red color i just want to paste this opacity okay now it looks like a real 3d text so our next step is when we move our cursor over that i want to move our this text on left and right so to do this first of all we need to go to our this section settings and here we need to add a class with that corner dash text and then we also need to add some more javascript code so here let's search for an html widget and drag this to the bottom of our page and here before pasting our code for this section i want to remove our this padding because here i just want to take our this html widget for our this functionality i don't want to show any space for that so for this section settings here let's make this column gap to no gap then again from this navigator view let's go to this html widget and paste our code to here now if we move our cursor over that we can see this moving text and if we move our cursor out of this section it goes back to this initial position okay but you can see it looks so immediate so to make it smooth i want to add some transition with that so for this here again go to the section settings and for this custom css we need to add some more code to here okay now we can see it has become much smoother so let's save this and if we see it from our preview here now everything looks okay but if we move our cursor further more you can see our text goes outside of our this section so we just need to make our this sections overflow hidden go to here and make it to hidden okay now our this problem has been solved lastly here i want to go back to our this html widget and i want to show you this intensity option so by default it's set to 50 if we make it to like 150 now we can see our movement has become much more intense okay but i want to keep it to the default 50 and lastly i want to check this for our tablet and mobile devices 
so go to the tablet and here it goes to in three lines so we need to adjust our font size make it to 100 pixel and also do the same for our this heading now here it also looks good so go to the mobile devices and here reduce the font size furthermore let's make it to 80 and also for this one perfect so that's how we can create this 3d text in elementor if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video